Hello, welcome to my channel. I've got packages to open and I've got books to haul. These are probably books too. I know some of them are. Okay, so this is gonna be a long haul video. I'm gonna recommend probably picking up a snack and a beverage at some point uh, because this is gonna be a long one. So I'm just gonna jump into it. Cool? Cool. All right, I've cleared off like some shelf space. It's not gonna fit nearly anything, but it was an effort. An effort was made. So the first three books are all the same book and uh, it's no surprise to anybody that I have three versions of Akasif. Uh, and I have zero regrets. This is the only book that I allowed myself to get multiple fancy editions of this year, and I lived my best life doing it, just saying. Um, so I was one of those people that I ordered both the Books A Million and the Barnes & Noble edition because I had to have both of those because I absolutely had to have the Azrael chapter. Like, the, no questions. If I had to pick one edition, it was gonna be that one. I've got opinions on that one, which will be in another video. And then I also got the tour edition. It, it happened. I just really wanted to watch the live event thing. She did like a virtual tour uh, and you got like a ticket to watch like a live stream that I don't think was actually live looking back, uh, but it's just like a naked orange hardcover with like a fancy thing and it's, it's pretty. So uh, yeah, I have three of these now. I have no regrets. Okay, and the last two books that I have opened before I get to the packages, um, I ordered myself a copy of The House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune in hardcover because these are no longer in print and I panicked. That's it, that's the whole explanation. Um, these are only in paperback nowadays and it's starting to get harder and harder and harder to find. Um, these, so I went on thrift books and I ordered it and I have no regrets. That's what the entire video is gonna be. I am very excited for all of these purchases that I have. This next book was sent to me by one of my best friends, Abby, who read this book and like binged it in a day and then just immediately sent me a copy so that we could talk about it and I need to read it. So that is Binding Shadows by Jasmine Silvera. This is paranormal. I am assuming it's a wolf shifter thing. One, I am always looking for black romance authors to showcase on my channel. So this is one, which I'm very excited over. So one, thank you so much to Abby for that. But also I'm just like super excited. I believe this is new adult. I think our main character is in college or college aged. Um, and I know she's looking for lost books of some sort of magic. The tagline is there are two rules, find a way to use your magic and never reveal it to anyone. That sounds great. And our love interest, I think is a werewolf shifter. It's shifter of some sort. He has a pack of brothers and it is also something, something to do with books, rare books. Books are a thing in this book. That's all I got. I kind of want to go in blind and just binge right through it. Uh, so I am very, yeah, there's like a wolf head as the chapter header. So I'm assuming it's a wolf shifter, some sort of paranormal romance. It looks great. Thank you so much, Abby. I can't wait to get to this so we can talk about it. All right, this next package I totally opened because it came to my house and I didn't like uh, say yes to anything from source books. Uh, so I was very intrigued. So I opened it and I don't know anything about it, but one, it came with coffee. So we're off to a good start, coffee packet. And the book is Yes and I Love You by Ronnie Lauren. I've never heard of this. And this is an adorable cover. It's blurred by Colleen Hoover, who said absolutely unput downable. Ronnie Lauren is a new favorite. I've never heard of this. It sounds so great. So yeah, I didn't know anything about this. The synopsis sounds adorable. It follows a reviewer whose commentary brightens the New Orleans nightlife. Um, but no one knows Holland Tate, the real face behind the media star, or the anxiety that keeps her isolated. So I think we're gonna have anxiety rep in this, which I am super excited. So it sounds like we're following kind of like an online influencer type person who discusses like nightlife. I don't know. Um, but then we're also following a newly minted fake boyfriend. So we got a fake dating trope. We've got anxiety rep. Sign me the heck up. This sounds so stinking cute. That's all I really know about it. And it's blurbed by Colleen Hoover, who said that it's great. So th thank you, Sourcebooks, for sending this my way. I'm very excited to get to it and let you guys know what I think. I just like this color. It's like a vibrant salmony pink color. I like it. My god, you guys totally just missed it. I just opened this and then promptly dropped it on the floor. But it was a really satisfying tear tab. And I see books that are wrapped in plastic and are very yellowed and well-loved, which gets me like so excited. Like the flea market person in me is pumped. What are these? 
What is this? Okay, hold on. There are three books in here. Is there a note? Hold on. Is there an... Oh, there's a note in one of these. Okay, okay. What? Let me read the note real quick. Okay, okay. First of all, the stationery is too stinking cute. So this is from Zay. Uh, and first of all, I'm a Trekkie, so you'll appreciate that. I, I won't go into like full detail of this entire thing. I am so intrigued. So these are three books from... Theodore Sturgeon, who is like a lesser known classic sci-fi author and has inspired two Star Trek episodes and is known mainly for Sturgeon's Law, aka 90% of everything is crap. That's okay. Your letter, your letter is great. So we have E Pluribus Unicorn, which is one of the best titles I've ever heard. Um, we also have The Stars Are the Sticks and this cover, I have... There's so much to unpack on this cover. Like, this is obviously the river sticks, but there's just so... What is the thing hanging from the hand that's sticking out of the prow of the boat that's underneath of a frog? Yeah, those are all things. Hold on, let me take it out of the plastic. I feel like I shouldn't. These feel like antiques or something, and I shouldn't be taking them out of plastic, but I'm, I'm totally going to. Um, I just have to zoom in on this cover for you guys, because it's it's amazing right like there is so much what what is happening there is so much happening on this cover and i'm intrigued okay and then the third one is caviar and we have like a scientist who is working in a lab that's above like a dystopian destroyed industrial city okay so these are short story collections and they gave me the favorites out of each of them, which I'm definitely gonna check out. I am so excited to get to these. I also adore old sci-fi covers because just look at them. There's so much. Also, like the, the colors the books turn, I love it. Oh my God, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. These are so fun. And the next package I totally opened because it weighed like nothing. And I do get sent a lot of random stuff unsolicited um, to my PO box just from random companies for publicity, which I am in no way obligated to show on my channel. So I did open this just to see what it was because it didn't feel like a book. That was like the primary thing. And I will insert what this package looked like. These are handmade bookmarks from Becca. Um, and her shop is um, Fluffle Magica. And I have to show you guys these bookmarks. They are stunning. So these are what they look like. They look very similar to the book art bookmarks uh, that I rep for, but these are hand crocheted things. That, and the backs even have like yarn connectors, which are just stunning. And they have like these little like beads hanging from them. They are beautiful. Becca, thank you so much. These are works of art. Can we just talk about how intricate these crochet patterns are? So I'll leave her linked down below. Thank you so much for sending these to me and your packaging and everything is just, it's on point. Okay, the next package, I just cut into it and it's wrapped in a gift bag, which is exciting. So let's find out what this is. I have not opened it. It feels like a book. Go figure. Who is this from? This is from Miriam. Thank you for telling me how to pronounce your name because it is definitely not the American spelling. And you have sent me stuff before. And your pitch here has me so intrigued. It said, I thought you might like this book. It has lots of funny banter, a self-important hellcat, and a clumsy hellhound. What? What now? <laughs> you have all of my interests peaked. What is that? I don't, I have a lot of questions now. Let's find out what this book is. Um, it is... Ooh, 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 this looks fantastic. Hellishly Ever After. This is book one of The Infernal Covenant by Nadine Mutez. This looks great. Oh man, ever held a seance and accidentally trapped a demon into marriage? No takers, just me? Crap. That sounds fantastic. So this is like paranormal romance that sounds hilarious. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. It says, marriage is my idea of hell, at least until the day an unfairly hot demon shows up in my apartment and drags me into hell as his wife. So kind of Hades and Persephone, like a little bit. This is getting me like bargainer vibes, like Lauren Thalassa, kind of, sort of. This sounds so, I'm so excited to start this. 
This sounds so fun. If any of you have read this, let me know. Because it definitely sounds like it doesn't take itself too seriously. And it says, it's the first installment to a new paranormal romance series by award-winning author Nadine Mutez. Mutaz? Mut Mutaz? If you love laugh-out-loud funny enemies to lover stories with enough heat to burn up the pages, you don't want to miss this book. I don't want to miss this book. Thank you so much. This sounds so good. I've been looking for something to pick up today. It might be this. Also, it's a good size. Like, uh, I feel like romance books never really make it over 400 pages, and this is 478 pages, so it's enough of a story to, like, keep me busy for a bit. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Okay, we are gonna have so much fun. Okay, and lastly, I have this package, which has a customs label on it, I think, um, and you paid way too much in postage, first of all. So one, a huge resounding thank you for even thinking of that. And let's see, how do I get into this without stabbing myself? Um, we're gonna, hold on, let me cut this open real quick. Okay, first of all, with this washi tape, I can't. It has little corgis all over it. You know me already <laughs> really well. This is so cute. Pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how cute this art print is. Live long and prosper. Okay, I skipped ahead to the end, but we're already friends. Okay, this is from Catherine from Japan. And that was a journey that we went on in that uh, letter. That was a lot that you went through. Okay, so let's find out. I think um, I know what this is going to be. Oh, I totally don't, hold on. You're a fan of circus novels. What is this? It's a circus book? I am just kind of getting back into circus books. I took a break for a little bit and now I'm about to start binging them again because I have a video plan for them. So this might have to go into it. What is it? I don't know. I'm so excited. I don't have this. Oh my gosh. Nights at the Circus by Angela Carter. Author of Wise Children. A brilliant tall tale, spellbinding and entrancing. Look at this cover. I don't know anything about this. Oh my good. Okay, Catherine, you hit the nail on the head here. An aerialist extraordinaire, star of Colonel Kearney's circus. She's also part woman, part swan. What? So this follows a traveling circus. Uh, a trip through turn of the century London, St. Petersburg and Siberia. Oh my goodness. This sounds so good. This sounds so good. I don't know anything about this. And it's like a penguin uh, thing. What are these called? The ones that have like these? I've literally never heard of this. And this looks amazing. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much. This is printed, interestingly. Like it's printed like an older book where like the margins are weird. It has like the the older font. I forget what font that is that they used way before that. When was this made? 1984. How have I never heard of this? It sounds so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, your note with the really, really cute art print is totally going in it. Look at this little art print. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's adorable. It is going right in the book. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I have so much reading material. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, let's fly through these packages. Um, these are my most recent Hello Lovely uh, order that I have placed. So should we start with the bag or the box? Let's do the bag first. Also, in case you have an order from Becca, she is so stinking cute. I, she always writes on my bags and it's adorable. Ooh, this has a pull tab. Will I be able to use the pull tab? That is the question. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. We got, we got stuff. I'm already wearing a Hello Lovely sweatshirt. I wasn't kidding. This is my entire wardrobe is this stuff. Okay. Oh, I also have the February and January surprise box. Oh, I should have done this as an entire separate video. You know what? I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm sorry, I am being a tease right now. This is gonna be way more than I can get through in one video. So uh, I'm gonna cut the haul here. Thank you so much to everybody who sent me things. And I promise I will get this part of the haul up tomorrow. Like I will put it up the day after this one goes up or maybe even later in the day, but this is just gonna be way too long of a video for me to edit through. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I will see you guys in the next video. I will not keep you waiting long, I promise. Part two will be coming very, very quickly and I'll see you guys then.